Hey, this is Alex Kasinyuk, and in this tutorial I actually want to switch things up a little bit. I don't really want it to be an average basic Blender tutorial. Um, I don't know, I, I kind of want it to be something that you guys can try out, uh, maybe, in your in your renders. And uh, just something a little bit more custom and fun, I guess. Now, this is an effect I use quite a bit, and it's an actual glow effect. So, um, what I actually do is use Halo... Uh, materials to create kind of um, a glow effect. Now, in in 3D programs, it's all about faking reality. So, I mean, nothing can really uh, nothing can really be uh, modeled realistically or textured realistically. Um, but it can at least look pretty pretty darn close to uh, being realistic, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. It's not the most complex process is it's pretty simple and fast but it gets a decent result and you can be the judge when I when I test render it if it if you like the result um, but I think it's pretty good so anyways let's just get into this now I'm actually using the blender monkey as a, a test model for this and that's just because it has more geometry it's a denser mesh as you can see I have one division uh, subdivision on the model as well but um, if I were to use like a default cube or a simple object, um, it just wouldn't get the same result. You could do it, but it definitely works better with a more dense mesh. Um, so anyways, what I'm actually going to do is duplicate the monkey. So I'm, I'm just going to press Shift D to duplicate it. And I now have it duplicated and grabbed. So I can just press right, the right mouse button to snap it back into place. And what I actually want to do is go into edit mode on the new created object. And I actually want to select everything. Well, everything will be selected by default. And I want to press Alt-S to shrink and fatten it. Now, before you actually do this, I should have mentioned that you should press Z to go into wireframe, just so you can see, uh, see the difference between the two meshes better. So you can press Alt-S to shrink and fatten and then you can hold down shift to get a more precise movement and then you can slowly drag this up. Now what I'm doing is just making it a little bit bigger so you can distinguish it from the other mesh and select it easier. Um, so the the larger one will actually be the halo material. So with that selected we can actually make this into a different material now. So actually what we want to do is go over to the material panel which is over here and you can see that it has the gray material of the other monkey, but we want to make this a separate material so we can change it without it being linked to the other one. So we can press this to make it a its single material, so it's its own material now. Um, that was like the little two icon right there. And then what you want to do is actually change the material type to Halo. It's right under the data option right here. So right when you select Halo, it um, it looks a lot different. It's pretty much, um, it's showing it kind of in, in a wire, if I actually go back to this, it's showing it with just the vertices um, in the mesh, and there's really no edges connecting them or anything, but it's basically showing that every one of those is um, a halo material. So if you actually see in the preview over here, you can see that every little dot is kind of like a little glowing sphere, um, and you can actually preview it as a monkey right here. See, that's kind of gives you an idea of what it will look like when it's rendered. So anyways, uh, we don't really want it to look like that. We have to change some settings in the Halo options. Now that's actually located right below the preview. Okay, so the first option I actually want to look at is Alpha. So it's the slider right here. Now it's basically transparency, and um, you notice that if you drag it down in the preview, the um, Alpha effect will become a little, a little bit more transparent. And I actually like to have it at a very low setting, just so it's not too prominent in the in the final render. And I find that that gets the most realistic result. Uh, but maybe you're not going for that. Maybe you just want in-your-face glowing effect. Uh, it's all up to you, and you just got to play around with it. But I find the best uh, results are really in the 0 0.30 to 0 0.40 range, or even lower, really. You can go down to 0 0.10, and it's still... You can still kind of see the glow effect, but it's not in your face, really. Um, so definitely play around with the alpha. And uh, now, 
for the actual color of the glow effect. Right now it's set to the default gray. Um, but we want to change this to um, a better color. So I was actually going to go with... Um, so what, what you want to actually want to do is click on the color bar right here. And then you can use the color wheel to... The color palette to choose whatever color you want or the sliders. Um, but I'm just going to choose a really bright green. Uh, so kind of like that. Now you can see in the preview that it already looks kind of like an alien glow or something like that. Uh, which is actually what I want to go for. So the another option that you actually want to play around with is size. Now I usually like to put the size up to 1. Uh, but if you go any past 1 it kind of just covers the screen and it looks a little bit uh, it, it's a little bit too much. And um, hardness you might want to play around with, but um, let's just keep it at 50 and, and see how the final render looks right now. So we pretty much have all the settings uh, set up right now. And I actually set up my cameras and everything already. And the camera, which is on layer 2. So I'm just going to go into camera view and render this. So F12. Okay, so you can see that it's a little bit strong. Um, we might want to actually lower down the alpha quite a bit. Um, I thought 0, uh, 0.30 would actually be a little bit less than this, but uh, it's okay. So what I actually want to do is lower down the alpha to 0 0.10, actually, and see how that uh, looks. And we can actually lower down the size a little bit, too, to 800, say. 800. And you can kind of just keep rendering it, uh, tuning the settings, until you get your perfect uh, desired amount, really. So that looks a little bit better. You can see that it looks like the, the monkey's kind of giving off some kind of uh, a glare effect or glowing effect. But I, I still don't like it that prominent uh, of a glow. But again, you can put down the size and the alpha. That's the main that's the main uh, options uh, for Halo that I find. So I'm going to go actually with 0.5. Or not 0.5, but 0 0.05 actually. 0 0.005. Um, so I'm just going to render th render this with the new options. Uh, see, that's kind of more the effect that I was actually going for. So it's um, kind of just around it. Uh, it's not overwhelming it. The object's still noticeable. And you can see some of the green effects kind of uh, rubbing off on the material. Well, I mean, it's supposed to look like it's rubbing off, but um, so I actually like that um, effect right there. But I mean, just play around with it, because maybe your uh, perfect result is different than mine.